Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. What's up? What's popping? Dumalang le guy. Welcome to another Generations The Legacy review. Today I'm going to be speaking about the most highlighted storylines that I saw from last night's episode. So please stay tuned and find out what exactly happened. I'll start with the character Cosmo. So we left off where Cosmo was in a critical but stable condition. I honestly don't know what that means but that's a medical term and he was not really out of the woods. He was being prepared to be sent home because he couldn't pay his medical aid. However, Lucy tried to speak to his pair and ask if they could leave him at the hospital for now. But his pair was like, he cannot be left in this hospital because he cannot afford the bills and the medical aid is not available at the moment. So... He was forced to leave, and that's what they did. They left, and they went home. Speaking of Lucy, Lucy found out that the reason why her brother is in this mess once again is because of Kunkani. So she went to Kunkani's apartment to confront him. She came through for her brother once again. She went to talked to Kukani about putting her brother in danger. She also asked him to pay for his medical bills because it was his fault that he was injured in this first place. After Lucy threatened to expose Kukani and his shady dealings, Kukani agreed to contribute to Cosmo's medical bills and asked Lucy to spread the word about how he helps his workers. Now, moving to Jara, this young man is such an ambitious guy and he'll do anything to secure the bag. So Jara cannot focus at work as he's busy with his side business while he's at his regular job. While doing that, he got caught by Maswe, so he had to cover it up to use it for the podcast that Lucetti is working on. Now let's talk about Nontle. Nontle has a crush on Tamarin. She is so fascinated with Tamarin's sexuality, so she decided to ask her some personal questions and Tamarin was willing to answer them because she is comfortable with her own sexuality and very open. Nontle couldn't stop bragging and talking about how amazing and cool Tamarin was when they met. She even spoke a little bit about how she's really open and she doesn't care about what people think and she finds that really cool. Her best friend is starting to think that she might have a crush on her. Is it true? I'm not sure, but we'll see on tonight's episode. The next character that I'm about to speak about, I really haven't gotten into deep details about him, so today I'm going to be doing that. His name is Moraxa, Lucy's husband. So. Moraxa caught Malvusana and Kosi dealing drugs at his place of work and warned them to stop it or else he'll call the police on them. But he ended up buying antibiotics from them for his brother-in-law Cosmo who is currently suffering through the pain that he's going through due to the injury on his stomach. I know that I speak a lot about Nundle, but I really never touch on her mother, Ayanda. She's currently still mad at Chidi 
that she is helping Nundle with her project. But Sudi explained to her that this is exactly what Nundle needs to go back to her old self that she was before. She needs to feel like she is a hero because everything else feels like it's out of her control and she does not like that. I know that I have already touched on Jarai earlier in this video, but I want to talk about the rest of the housemates who live in the commune, like Mpo, Lucidi, and Tamran. So in this episode, there was a scene where all these housemates were sitting down and discussing, brainstorming ideas for the podcast that Lucidi will be airing. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Jara and Mpo have finally come up with the name for their business. And it's called Ho Brew. What do you think about this name? I honestly think it's cool, cheek and fun. Just like the boys. Lastly, I want to touch on Cosmo once again. Uh, like I said, he was able to get the money for the surgery which Kunkani contributed. So Cosmo was able to go for the surgery and the money that Kunkani contributed helped but was unable to cover all the costs. So he was sent back to the public hospital after the surgery. By the way, before I forget, Mpo caught Nunte kissing Tamri when he arrived at the commune. He was left speechless. I think he didn't expect it at all. His reaction was priceless. That's it for today. Please do not forget to like, subscribe and share. Peace. I'm out.